Do you find yourself eating the same food in Minecraft? When there's 41 foods in the game, there eventually comes a point where you start picking favorites. Much like having kids. Which is why in this video, I will be ordering all 41 of them from worst to best. Ranked primarily by how useful they are, how cool they are, and how common they are. Then I'll just shift them around randomly just because of vibes. Let's get on with the list. Vibe check. In last place is Tropical Fish. Added all the way back in 1.7 as a rare drop called Clownfishes, and then updated in 1.13 into the tropical fish we know today. What makes them so shit? Well, let me tell you something. When you think of tropical fish, you probably think of something beautiful, something colourful and cursive. Because that's exactly what tropical fishes are. They look pretty in an aquarium, but they all become Nemo when they die anyways. Prince. So that's where their prettiness ends. And that's not even the worst thing about them. First of all, you can't even feed them to cats, which is honestly kind of based. Cats hate the tropical fish as much as I do. Meow meow, bitch. You also can't cook them for some reason. Why? Why are they also worse than other raw fishes? Bottom line is, if I join an SMP and any of you walk up to me offering tropical fish, I'm taking that as a threat. Know your f***ing place, trash. The second worst food is beetroot soup, with beetroot following and third last. We all have different tastes, right? We all like and hate different foods. So let me ask you, the audience right now, what's your least favourite vegetable? According to this research in 2020, 90% of you will say Brussels sprouts, which is fair. Whenever I feel like everything is going to shit, I just eat them and tell myself that things can't get any worse now that I've eaten Brussels sprouts. 14% of you will say artichokes, a vegetable so bad, the name a choke while naming it. 13% of you will say celery, and another 13% of you will say... Aubergine. The vegetable is so despicable we can't even decide on a single name for it. And 10% of you will say beetroot. Let's just say, Minecraft probably contributes to at least 5% of this hatred. Beetroot are 100% not worth planting as they are objectively the worst crops in the game, and the 9% of you who said broccoli are objectively wrong! 36, 37, 38, raw rabbit, cooked rabbit, and rabbit yeah. stew. I assume most of you watching are familiar with Minecraft farms. Essentials like cow and sheep farms, must-haves like iron farms, and luxuries like cobblestone farms. Was there ever a time you thought about having a rabbit farm? Anyone? Any takers? Put your hand down! Yeah, rabbits are kind of bad. First of all, rabbits are stupid enough to die on their own. Gravity, am I right? <laughs> Second of all, they don't really drop a useful secondary item. I mean, what are you gonna make with a rabbit foot? A potion of leaping? <laughs> no. In other words, raw rabbit is 36 because you probably picked it up by accident. Cooked is 37 because now you've actually gone through the effort to cook that damn thing. And if you ever make a rabbit yeah. stew unironically, you're pretty stupid. <laughs> 34th and 35th are cooked and raw cods respectively. This isn't a dig on cods as a food, it's more of a massive bias I have against them as an item. You see, as someone who has played Minecraft since 1.4, I make sure to tell everyone that I'm a Minecraft veteran at every opportunity I get. I even wrote that on my job resume. And let me just say, I miss the old fish texture, man. Look at that classic blue-grey look. Cods have always felt like a replacement and... <sighs> Look how they massacred my boy. I placed the raw beef 33 out of 41. Ninth worst food. If it seems too low, it probably is. You see, a majority of the time I kill cows, I want the leather to make books for bookshelves for librarians. And nothing else makes me want to grip my table in contained frustration than the sight of no leather and raw beef. Based on this purely anecdotal irrelevant detail, I now have beef against beefs and I am inclined to place them low on this list. Be sure to leave an angry comment telling me how angry you are that beef isn't as high as you thought it was and maybe I'll heart it. Now we're getting into the foods that are not awful, starting with bread in 30 seconds. It's actually a really good starter food, easily craftable from taxi- I mean, borrowing without returning the haystacks from the villagers. The thing I don't like about bread is that whenever I make a villager crop farm with wheat as the crops, the villagers would just make bread by default. Bruh, I came for the slavery and left being offered bread as if villagers were Jesus Christ himself. Same as beef, I am now unjustifiably biased against bread. Get down there. The same could also be said for our next entry, Rotten Flesh. One of the easiest sources of emeralds with a cleric. For some reason, Mr. Holier Than Thou wants the flesh of his decaying brethren and is even willing to pay for it. I'm not gonna complain. If I'm being paid, the last thing I wanna do is shame him for his fetishes. Unfortunately, I recently had food poisoning and uh... 
it was not a pleasant experience. This pushes Rotten Flesh just out of the top 30. Rotten Flesh doesn't pass the vibe check, sorry. Starting off the top 30 are raw pork chops. Just like rabbits, I see absolutely no reason you should have a pig farm. Unless you mod your game and honor one of Minecraft's best players, Technoblade. But you're not gonna eat a pig now that you named it after Technoblade. Would you? Either way, at least they don't frustrate me like raw beef, so they're 3 places higher. Anyways, Mushroom Soup takes the 29th spot. The reason these aren't down there with the Big Bowl Brigade is because I actually quite like Mushroom Soup in real life. With the bias aside, can we all address the elephant in the room? Why aren't brown and red mushrooms edible on their own? You could say it's because they're poisonous, but... Suspiciously making mushrooms not poisonous aside, mushroom soups are the biggest waste for brown mushrooms you could have used for fermented spider eyes instead. But at least they don't require too much resources to make, so I'm not too mad. Number 28, Cookies. Cookies are delicious in real life, but in Minecraft, I don't vividly remember eating these things, other than feeding them to parents because I get shittish to tender cheese. So if you're enjoying this video so far, hit the like button on this video and maybe I'll give you my cookies since I don't plan to eat it. If you don't like this video, I'll feed it to my pet parrot. You don't want me to do that, do you? There's not much to say other than cocoa bean farms being so janky it kinda pushes them into so bad is good territory. Also, have I mentioned I love feeding cookies to parrots? 27 goes to spider eyes for a multitude of reasons. None of which are because it's a good food. There's just something hilarious about changing the textures of regular food with spider eyes and then letting your friend eat them, just seeing the pure panic they oh no. get from the poison. They're also essential to make fermented spider eyes, which come on. You can't tell me that doesn't look like the tip of a penis. Spider eyes are freaking awesome. Their coolness and pranking potential skyrocket them out of the lower 25% despite being awful foods. Pufferfish places in the 26, the other food that gives you poison. Way stronger poison. One of those foods that at first glance you can immediately tell I probably shouldn't eat this. And then you trip your balls off. Just like how we tripped into this convenient transition. Happy birthday! It may not be your birthday, but there's a 0.27% chance that it is, and I like those odds. Your birthday cake places 25th in this ranking. They're one of the only foods in the game that's a complete block, creating jank stuff like the horse staircases and jank Lego blocks. One of the most iconic, most unique, and most classic foods in the game. Classic stuff gets nostalgia points. 25th you go. Which brings me on to 23rd, Dried Kelp. They're the only food in the game that can be eaten twice as fast, and this out of nowhere uniqueness just vibes with me for some reason, boosting them from 33rd to 23rd. Hey! Oh yeah! I forgot glowberries existed. This tier list forgot they existed. You forgot they existed! They're useful, I guess. 24th place, onto something less forgettable. Raw chicken places at 22nd, 8 places higher than pork chop. Why? It gives you food poisoning. The only raw food that gives you food poisoning as it should. This random realism is just really cool. You can see that I'm very consistent with my critiques and personal biases and have not been giving special treatment to one food or the other. Placing just out of the second half in 21st is MELON for the simple reason that I find them a funny meme food. <laughs> Man, a watermelon! Starting the top 20 are apples and carrots. Both of these foods are rather decent on their own with apple being placed lower because I absolutely hate how they're harvested. Oh my god, who decided they should grow on trees? Both suffer from the same issue. Why eat either of these when can eat a cooler version of them covered in gold? However, given they are an essential ingredient into their golden counterparts, I can't be too harsh. So these two sit comfortably at the borderline of the top 20. Following that, we have baked potato in 18. These are one of the best foods you can get in early to mid game. Potatoes are easy to plant and give big harvests like carrots, but unlike carrots, they can actually be cooked to become better foods. Problem is, baked potatoes just earned my style. If you're gonna cook these things, cut it into slices and fry it. Baking them just makes them taste so mid, and that's a mid placement it gets. Mid, 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 Zeaz not to riari a good to reason to put to them this high as a than the fact that I like raw salmon. Eating raw salmon, I like eating sushi or imagine and IT makes me proud of being Japanese. And I'm not even Japanese. Ah. 
The 16th place of the 41 Minecraft fruits may come as a shocker, because it's the chorus fruit. Not only is their planting method so needlessly complicated, it just steps into the cool category. But did you know that if you get launched in the air, and if you're falling towards the void, you can eat a chorus fruit to save your life? Granted, you fall from a height that isn't greater than your armor protection, but yeah. I placed them this high because they have saved my life once, and I will never forget that. So the 16th place goes to the chorus fruit. Number 15. Fried chicken good. Hmm. The 14th and 13th best food in Minecraft goes to muttons. Something that really irks me is seeing all these content creators putting on this ugly as hell texture pack that makes the grass grow vertically. Oh! Give me the grass texture, the classic grass texture, the perfect blend of grass green and earth brown. Ah, look at that beautiful lush greener. Mutters are this high because sheep eat away this beautiful classic green texture of grass and I don't like that. The perfect balance of green and brown are either shattered by these ugly texture packs who make grasslands look like vegetables, great vegetables, or desecrated by lawnmowers in sheep clothing, shitting a brown texture. Having a mutton on my hand makes me feel good knowing there's at least one less grass destroyer in this world. Unleash your inner XQC and gamble with the 12th place, Suspicious Stew. You can have an array of negative effects, but one of them is saturation. Are you willing to take the risk? Because I am. Shit. Come on. Fuck. It breaks my heart to place them right out of the top 10, but 11th place goes to pumpkin pies. One of the easiest to craft foods, restoring a fair full 4 hunger points each time. I'd say they're the best options for mid to late game, just before you transition into superfoods. They're one of my favourites, however their saturation is a big sticking point and as much as I love pumpkin pies, I think I'll have to place them here in 11th, to show that I'm, I'm free of bias before the top 10, and show that I have the utmost integrity. We enter the top 10 Minecraft foods, the best food you can ever get in Minecraft and starting them off is cooked salmon. Now why is cooked salmon in 10th? Well, it's because I like eating cooked salmon in real life. And that's it, moving on. We won't be having two number 9s for the 9th place because it goes to steak and only steak. Steaks are a rather popular contender for best food and for good reason. They fill 4 hunger points and a whopping 12.8 saturation on par with golden carrots. However, I'm still furious at raw beef, and this arbitrary anecdotal emotion of mine continues to cloud my judgement even further justifying me pushing steak down a few spots. Be sure to leave another angry comment telling me how angry you are that steak isn't as high as you thought it was, and I'll be sure to pretend it doesn't hurt my feelings. This video is not sponsored by Honey, but they take the 8th spot. Have you ever just opened a jar of honey, stuck a spoon inside of it and ate the honey raw? because that shit is diabetic levels of delicious and that's exactly how I imagine the honey bottle in Minecraft to be like. You can mention all you want about their abysmal saturation, but I always imagine my Minecraft characters smiling whenever they drink one of these bottles, just like I do whenever I eat honey. They can also be used to make honey blocks for those who want to be the second coming of Nikola Tesla with redstone. And above all else, honey is made by honeybees. It's in name. Bees are endangered. You get my pity vote, if place you go. Rather strange for potatoes to be in 7, isn't it? Well for starters, potatoes remove the main gripes I have with the other crops. Like beetroot, it restores half a hunger point, and carrots even restore 3 times the hunger. But the difference is that you can cook potatoes, even if it's the wrong way of cooking them. And best of all, they're one of the two crops that actually make it damn obvious when they're fully grown. Nothing pisses me off than seeing a crop thinking it's ripe and then being bamboozled into harvesting my crops too early. Even Minecraft usages aside, potatoes are just an absolute icon in today's culture. When a computer takes 3 hours and 16 minutes to render a 35 minute video, it's a potato computer. When you want to insult someone, you compare them to a potato. And when you want an absolute Irish icon, you'd have a potato. Put simply, potatoes are the best. Okay Jack, you can, you, you can stop holding my family hostage now. Jack, please. Jack, Jack. Taking the 6th spot at the top is sweet berries. As food, sweet berries are actually pretty bad, but there's a reason why I mentioned usefulness first and coolness second as the criteria. Sweet berries are the only food in the game that can hurt people. They create berry bushes. Just by standing next to you, they are slowly starting to kill you. Much like children. So they're inarguably the coolest food in the game thus far outweighing their abysmal hunger and saturation. 
They also used to tame foxes and ah, look at them. They are adorable. I just want to poop them on the nose. Anyways, fifth place goes to cooked pork chops. Cooked pork chops are the same as steaks, so why are they four places higher? Well, you see, I made my second survival war in 1.16. And of all the luck, I also spawned in a crimson forest, which means I have died a lot of times to hoglins. I chose not to have a pig farm and instead have hoglin farms. What makes pork chops a league above steaks are the fact that I can revel in the pain and suffering I've caused to these hoglins. I terrify them with warp fungus that they're allergic to, forcing them down these soul campfires, burning these hellish hell spawns in hellfire in hell. That's pretty freaking metal if you ask me. And that's exactly why pork chops are in fifth place. We're down to our top 4, and this is where things start to get really controversial. Who will place where, and how disagreeable are these placements? Will your favourite that hasn't been mentioned yet place high, or will it be the first of 4 to be mentioned? Ooh, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Time for the number 4 spot. The first placement of the best 4 goes to... Enchanted Golden Apples. Hey guys, Point Crow here. Do you ever get collector's anxiety? Because I, Zaylerans, do. Even though Enchanted Golden Apples are by default the most regenerative food you can get in the game, their rarity makes them stray a few steps away from the top spot for best food. They give you, absor they give you absorption and regeneration 4 times stronger than a regular golden apple, and on top of that they also give you resist and fire resist for 5 minutes. Pretty damn overkill if you ask me. Or if you are super cursed, you can utilize none of those benefits and instead make a Mo Yang banner. Hashtag worth. Following that, the third place goes to... Golden Carrots. Here we are, the king of basic foods. Carrots are one of the easiest crops to plant and gold nuggets come in bulk, making golden carrots relatively on the cheaper side while still having the highest saturation ratio. Plus L plus didn't R, an absolute must have for players late into their Minecraft worlds. You can also use golden carrots to brew night vision potions. That is if you are a moron, real Minecraft veterans don't need night vision potions, they make the sun shine harder. It comes to no one's surprise seeing them this high in the top 3. They are one of the best foods, keeping a good blend on flexing on others while still being practical. They also used to have this dildo texture. However, I personally think they are just barely beaten by the next food in line. The Golden Apple. What puts them ahead of their enchanted counterpart is their ability to still be craftable. I can't think of any other food in the game that trivializes fights as much as golden apples. Like tell me a single fight in the game other than the warden that doesn't turn into peaceful mode with a stack of golden apples. Forget virgin saturation points, golden apples have the chad regeneration, providing a more reliable healing. Golden apple even bypasses hunger, being able to be eaten on a full stomach. What a chad. But alas, for that to be a ranking, there needs to be a first place. So what takes the top spot? What beats the golden tree? The best food in the game... It's poisonous potatoes. Uh, I can explain. Poisonous potatoes have always been pushed aside, and everyone just always throws them away. They've always been hailed as the worst food, or even the worst item in the entire game. Having such a traumatic past, I just had to let the underdog win. The golden apples, the golden carrot, are not the protagonists of this story. Poisonous Potato is. This is their underdog story, and this is their happy ending. And besides, after what happened in the last video, I just had to give Poisonous Potatoes the top spot. I genuinely did not expect them to be that useful, and it pains me knowing that everyone is playing Minecraft wrongly, especially when it comes to Poisonous Potatoes. Which is why you should click on this video to find out what makes them so useful and how you can play Minecraft correctly.